Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, the condition known as tinnitus or tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears, affects 14% of the adult population, with 20% of these individuals experiencing considerable distress from its severity. Now, this translates into approximately 750 million people worldwide who suffer from tinnitus. There are two main problems in addressing tinnitus. The first is that we're not exactly sure what causes the condition in each case, and there are no known drugs or ther therapies that have been highly successful in treating this condition. Now, commonly prescribed drugs for tinnitus include sedatives, anticonvulsants, antidepressants, local anesthetics, antihistamines, antipsychotics, and botulinum toxin A, all providing mixed or inconsistent benefits. So for people who suffer from tinnitus, it can be extremely problematic and it can compromise their quality of life to a very significant degree. However, there is some very good news for tinnitus sufferers as reported in the study published in the Journal of Personalized Medicine in March of 2023. So building on the results of previous studies, researchers affiliated with the Optics and Photonics Research Center in Brazil conducted a study comparing the effectiveness of 10 popular tinnitus treatments and found that low-level laser therapy was highly effective in reducing the severity of this condition compared to nine other common tinnitus therapies. The study involved 100 men and women who were tinnitus sufferers aged 18 to 65 years of age. Patients received one of 10 various treatments twice per week over the four-week study period. The results showed convincingly that the best treatment to reduce the symptoms and severity of tinnitus was low-level laser therapy applied to specific acupuncture points on the ear as well as direct laser therapy that penetrated through the eardrum or tympanic membrane itself to reach the inner ear uh, apparatus. The patients were clinically assessed before treatment began, after the eighth session, and two weeks after the treatment was completed. They used a tinnitus handicap inventory questionnaire. It's a series of 25 questions that help the understand if the person is getting improvement. 11 of those questions also help to assess the person's mental, social, occupational, and physical limitations due to the tinnitus that they were suffering. The best outcomes were observed in patients treated with laser acupuncture alone or low-powered laser that penetrated the eardrum to reach the inner ear apparatus and generate a healing effect. Now, combinations of laser therapy with vacuum therapy or ginkgo biloba supplementation was also helpful. Laser therapy alone was helpful, and using a calcium blocker also showed some benefit. But low-level uh, laser therapy really showed the, uh, the very best uh, benefit overall. The researchers stated that regarding low-level laser therapy, and I quote, the positive, effect, the positive effects include anti-inflammatory action and relaxation. We believe laser therapy can increase peripheral irrigation, which may be the main cause of the problem in many cases, as well as stimulating inner ear cell proliferation and collagen production, sort of a healing effect within the inner ear. Other positive effects of low-level laser therapy for tinnitus that have been reported include its ability to increase cell proliferation, ATP energy production, secretion of growth factors, improving inner ear blood circulation, and activating hair cell mitochondria that stimulates the repair mechanism. Any, any combination of these positive physiological effects is bound to improve tinnitus symptoms as well as Meniere's disease symptoms and may help some people regain some age-related hearing loss naturally as reported in some other studies. So if you or someone you know suffers from tinnitus or Meniere's disease, you may want to ask your doctor for a referral to a practitioner who has experience using low-level laser therapy to treat this troubling and stubborn condition. So I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.